Welcome everybody and thank you for being here today. This is your weekly love message for week commencing Monday the 2nd of January through to Sunday the 8th of January 2023. On the left hand side will be your crowning message cards and on the right hand side your crowning wisdom message cards. So let's jump straight in and have a look and see what your overarching crowning messages are for the week ahead. My angels and spirit guides of the divine, thank you. We have answers. My angels and spirit guides of the divine, please can you tell me your crowning messages to the question, how does the soulmates of the collective feel towards them in love? Week commencing Monday the 2nd of January through to Sunday the 8th of January 2023. We have manifestation and compassion, okay? So for those of you that I am connecting with, it feels as if many of you are manifesting answers to a question with regards to a relationship. I am picking up um, that whoever you're connecting with, I feel that they are just as inquisitive Um as you are because it feels as if this is either a breakup or somebody is disappointed and really sad about whatever has happened in this connection and I feel that to be honest with you I feel both of you are manifesting the same thing answers maybe answers as to why you broke up answers as to why there was a disconnect answers to why there was an argument um but this is this whoever i'm picking up this is um something has been derailed and i feel that you are definitely asking questions and many of you may be manifesting wishing hoping praying i feel that you're being guided to apply some compassion to yourself um apply some compassion uh to ever who to whoever you're connecting with because either there is a reconciliation on the table because both of you are i really feel that both of you are manifesting the same thing it almost feels as if both of you want to reconcile after a breakup and many of you are maybe seeking answers if this person wants to reconcile. I feel that you're being guided that they do because there is a lot of love that I, I, I there's a lot of love coming from these cards. A lot of happiness, a lot of joy. It may not look it, but that's what I'm feeling. Many of you, it almost feels as if for the new year, you're going to be wishing, hoping, praying for a turnaround uh, around a love connection. And you know something, I tell you, honestly and truly, there's something in the air um, moving from 2022 to 2023. I'm telling you, because it's almost as if divine is just sprinkling magic dust all over the place. Many of you, whatever your wishes, dreams and hopes are for a connection, wanting answers is there a reconciliation are the two of you going to come together i feel that um your wishes dreams aspirations are floating almost effortlessly into the cosmos and it feels as if it's going to be answered straight away many of you you're being guided to um apply some compassion to yourself so either you're giving yourself a hard time over something um, it may have resulted in a breakup, a disconnect, and now it's almost like you want you, you, just, you want to know the answer. You know, is this person going to give you a second chance? Is it a good idea to give them a second chance? I feel that they're saying to you, the answers are within you. So apply, apply some compassion to the situation. There is happiness coming. There is happiness. Many of you may be um, very compassionate to the earth, okay, to your environment. And it almost feels as if um, with regards to a love situation, whatever your compassions are outside love, um, it's like divine spirit universe doesn't want to see you in a bit of a tizzy over a love connection. And, and that's why I feel that 
this week, the first week of January 2023, is almost as if you're not going to have to wait too long um, for the, the answers that you seek. Just focus your energy, focus your energy on whatever you're manifesting. Focus on positivity because something is being balanced out. Oh my days, can I not make this up? Did I not say or did I not say I can just feel love in the air? Whoever you are connecting with, well, if you had a question, if this person is your soulmate, well, hell yeah, absolutely. And I feel that many of you, uh, you hold the key to this person's heart. They hold the key to your heart. But you are definitely, definitely connecting with a soulmate, there's, I told you there's love in the air, but something's happened, something's happened. Um, and whatever the answer you seek, I genuinely feel that honestly and truly that you're going to get the answers literally straight away. Be kind to yourself, be kind to others, show compassion because you're about to hit the happy jackpot, I feel. Because you're going to realise whatever has happened, look, look at that. Look at that. Oh, my God. Regeneration. What did I say? It's a reconciliation here. Something is being transformed because the two of you are fated to be together. Do you know something? I can't even make up these readings. I know that I'm doing a mammoth set of readings because I'm trying to do the weeklies, the monthlies and the yearlies so that I can get them all in one um one uh, video. Not video, but when you get the end um. Uh, videos so that they're all there for you together with the weekends because I've just done the weekends and so my energy is very very uh how can I put it um my energy is just very very connected to the cards um and so it's almost as if I'm predicting stuff that's that hasn't even come out in the cards yet. So whoever you're connecting with, there's a regeneration, there's a rebirth because the connection between the two of you runs deep, okay? Um, it's almost as if the two of you are rooted together. Your DNA is rooted. It's because you're soulmates and it's because you're fated to be together. This is a fated connection and this is the happiness. Many of you, whatever it is your question is, your answers are already in you, within you because you and this person hold the key to each other's hearts. And this is the happiness that I was picking up. My God, I can't even, do you know what? I'm absolutely gobsmacked because I, I said, all I'm feeling is love and happiness, just ha pure happiness. And none of these cards mean any of that, but that's what I was feeling. And look at what came out. There is there's love in the air. Those of you that I'm connected with, there is so much love in the air. I'm telling you, this click over from 2022 to 2023, oh, well, all I can say is that I think there's going to be a lot of... Um, yeah, maybe a lot of uh, birthing of... Um, yeah, a lot. Maybe there's going to be quite a few people that are going to be conceived <laughs> from um, uh, for New Year's for 2023 because the love in the air that I'm feeling um, generally is just off the chart. It's it's really beautiful if I'm being honest. So focus your energy on the positives. There's a regeneration. There we go. Look at that. Cards don't even want to wait. There's a regeneration that's going on here. Okay, because you and this person are rooted uh in in each other's uh energy okay because you're fa fated to be together all right let's continue if this message is resonating for you already please feel free to click that thumbs up button on the video subscribe if you haven't done so already it really does help to push this video out to others seeking a general collective read it also enables you to get those notifications of when i'm uploading new messages and of course it does help to support the channel so i thank you in advance for your support and encouragement existing subscribers welcome back thank you for all of your support encouragement and donations it's really really appreciated and i really hope that you all get something useful and meaningful out of this week's reading let's get into your main love message 
my angels and spirit guides of the divine please can you tell me how does these soulmates of the collective feel towards them in love week commencing monday the 2nd of january through to sunday the 8th of january 2023 what is their current energy spiritually emotionally mentally and physically towards the collective that i'm allowed to see for the highest good and for the greater good of all as above so below and all around me thank you all right let's see what cards that we have here omg <laughs> The two of cups so whoever you're connecting with this is absolutely a twin flame connection okay uh this is my twin flame card yes you are soulmates yes you have lived many lives together yes this is a twin flame and this person doesn't want to let you go either okay um yeah, with the Queen of Swords, I feel either this person felt that you cut them out or there were some harsh words that were said. Said, oh, wow. <laughs> Look, you saw me shuffle. You sure saw the cards come out. We've got the tower in reverse. So this person either cut you out or felt that you cut them out and it created devastation for both of you, did I not say that justice, something is balancing out after a breakup, after somebody feeling disappointed, heartbroken, there's the tower moment, okay? There was destruction for both of you. The towers come out in reverse, man. It's come out in reverse recovery over a tower moment because guess what? I feel that both of you are manifesting the same thing. Both of you are asking the same questions. Is there a possibility of a reconciliation? I'm saying to you, yes, there is. Because whoever you're connecting with doesn't want to let you go. Yeah, there's a rebirth. There's a transformation of this connection. Let's continue. That Queen of Swords is either your energy or theirs. I can't tell right now. Um, whoever it is, it's somebody that said something quite cutting or sharp or actually cut the other person out. It could be you, could be them. This card wanted to come out. And there you go. Here's a new beginning. I oh, can't even make it up. Yep, you definitely want to take a leap of faith. And there's the heartbreak. I God, I can't make it up. Oh, my goodness. So, in a nutshell, okay, there has been a breakup or something happened where I feel the two of you want to reconcile, want to balance things out. You are heartbroken, okay? You want to take a leap of faith. You may be asking the questions, does this person want to take a leap of faith with you as well? The answer is yes, because they see you as a soulmate. They don't want to let you go because they are a twin flame, yeah? This person may um, um, recognize you as a soulmate um, if they don't know about the twin flame journeys that we all have. We all have a twin flame, okay? Um, so I feel that, I personally feel that you can have a soulmate and they be your twin flame as well, personally. Um, there are other people, tarot readers, that will say something different. Um, but I feel that the two of you are very, very compatible. Um, you are, yeah, there, there's a very deep love here, a very deep connection. The both of you have somehow been able to unlock a kind of love or affection that no one else really can unlock. It feels as if either this person cut you out or they felt that you cut them out, but they don't want to let you go. It created a very a strong uh, tower moment. It was destructive for both of you. And I feel that both of you do want to reconcile. So I'm telling you, honestly, this week, it's all about love. It's all about happiness. It's all about a reconciliation of two kindred spirits coming together and i could bet your bottom dollar if you are manifesting answers if they want to take a leap of faith with you they are also manifesting answers that they that, that they they don't want to let you go uh, do you not want to let them go? That's the kind of energy that I'm getting. And it feels as if because of the time of year that we are entering from 2022 into 2023, it's almost as if both of your wishes are floating into the co cosmos almost 
um, effortlessly. It's, you know, those films when you have two people that are wishing upon the star, um, wishing upon a star um, at the same time, wishing for exactly the same thing. This is the scenario. This is the scenario. It's so amazing. So amazing. Anyway, let's continue. Oop, okay. Oh, there we go. Look at that. It fell out of my hands. I feel that this person with the Queen of um, Wands, I feel it might be that it was them that said something cutting or sharp or direct um, uh, towards whoever I'm connecting with, male or female. I feel that they want to take action to reconcile because they don't want to let you go. Uh, look at this. There's a lot of Queens coming out. So either I am reading for... <coughs> the male collective and it is literally a woman or someone that has um, a very strong divine feminine energy coming through or um if you're a woman watching this uh your divine counterpart is definitely getting in touch with their divine feminine energy they're feeling this so not only do they want to that not only are they quite blunt and direct and straight to the point they're very passionate they're very grounded um very nurturing uh they're coming towards you they're taking action to come towards you for solid offer and i feel is it was after saying something look i can't even make it up a breakup the five of pentacles. So this person cut you out, broke up with you. And I feel what in that time of a breakup, what was in the darkness has been revealed to them that they have a soul contract with you and that they've got to balance things out. It's also been revealed to them that they don't really want to let you go. They are ready for long-term commitment marriage. They speak their truth. They are action orientated, independent, th free thinking. And it feels as if they're coming towards you, whoever I'm reading for, they're coming towards you um, to um, reconcile after breaking up with you, cutting you out. They want to balance things out. Uh, the justice is about reconciliation after a breakup, which I feel that they are the one that initiated it. Excuse me, I've got the uh, uh, hiccups. Uh, the moon card, uh, I feel that this person, whatever's in the darkness is being revealed. And what is being revealed to them is um, it's devastating without you. And I feel that they want to balance things up. Um, they see potentially you are the person that they have some sort of soul contract with. And they would be correct. Twin flame, soulmate, fated connection. There is a regeneration of this connection. You also could be dealing with a Libra, Pisces or Cancerian, or you could have Libra, Pisces or Cancerian in your chart. Thank you. And let's see. Oh, look at that. The Ten of Pentacles. You want to build a future with this person after the devastation. So both of you are on the same page. It's almost as if, like I said, the answers are within you. The both of you are asking the same questions, the same questions. Many of you, you want to, you still want to build a future with this person. You want to take a leap of faith after the destruction of that tower. Yes, you will. Um, there, there's recovery, yeah, because that tower is recovery from the dev um, the devastation. Many of you, uh, I feel that you just kind of want to put the devastation behind you and build a future with this person. Even though you are heartbroken over what happened. Notice though that's interesting, right? Because I've just there's only one person falling from that tower. Which feels as if it's more to do with you. You were really devastated. But what you may not realise, and the moon card is revealing, is that um they were devastated as well. Maybe they might not have shown it. But yeah, you still want to build a future after this devastation. Yeah, many of you want to initiate a conversation, but you don't know how to do so. 
okay? Um, you don't know how you can get this back on track. To be honest with you, those of you that I'm reading for, I don't think you're going to have to do much because this person looks like they're set on coming forward to reconcile because they don't want to let you go. I feel with the Seven of Cups, what created the heartbreak was a lot of misunderstanding, miscommunication, and I feel that you've got a choice to put that behind you. Focus your energy on the positive, okay? Because there is a change coming, a regeneration, a rebirth, a transformation. Let's continue. My angels and spirit guides of the divine, please can you clarify? Thank you. And you know what? You've three three swords, two swords, that's five swords. So many of you might have pulled back your energy whenever this person broke up with you just to process what happened. And for many of you, it really, really cut you quite deep. Yeah, you've got a choice. You've got a choice. Um, and I feel that I feel that you've got a choice and you're at a crossroads, right? You're at a crossroads of action you've got to take and you're at a crossroads as what to say. And I feel, yeah, you've got a choice. Right in the middle, you've got a choice what to say and what action to take, okay? Because you definitely want to take a leap of faith after that tower moment with this person. Personally, I don't feel that you're going to have to do much, because it looks as if this person is gung-ho on coming towards you because they want to reconcile. They want to balance things out. They don't want to let you go. So whatever questions that you're asking, what direction do I take? What do I say? I am confused. I want to take a leap of faith. What is the answers? What is the answers? What do I do? Honestly, I feel like I feel like I want to say to you, do nothing. Focus your energy on this person coming back. Continue manifesting, wishing, hoping, praying. Focus on love. Focus on happiness. Focus on this beautiful soulmate connection. Focus on smiles, happiness. Because it looks as if this person is coming forward. And it looks like you don't need to do much apart from manifesting. In a, that I feel that is possibly the choice that you've got to make. Yeah? That's the choice and the direction you're being guided to go. Go towards the light. Go towards the light. Try and come out of the uh, Three of Swords energy, which is a broken heart. And focus on positivity. Focus on love. Focus on happiness. Focus on the new beginning. It's almost as if you've already got the new beginning. That is how you're supposed to, I feel, think and focus your energy on. You may not have it right now. But act as if you do have it because that tower is in reverse. That means that there is a recovery. There's some sort of reconciliation, a regeneration. Wow. Beautiful. Okay. Let's have a look and see what your advice is. I don't think I need to say anything more. Look at that. Healing. Um, shield of crystals. I am loved and protected. Yes, you are. You are definitely loved. You are protected. And I feel that um, not only are you loved and protected by divine, um, but you are also loved. And I feel that this person um, wants to come in and protect you. Take action. They are solid. They're coming in with a solid offer. They're very passionate. Um, and I feel possibly they're coming in to speak their truth after cutting you out, yeah, and breaking up with you. They've seen the light, okay? And then follow the moon. I love flowing through the magical cycles. So I feel that this is telling you, um, you and this person are going through cycles. Many of you, you may have gone through very similar cycles in past lives. You will endure, you will get through it. OK, because it is a fated connection. There's still much for you to learn from each other. Um, you've got a soul contract and fly free. I receive messages from nature easily. Absolutely. Do you remember I said to you, it's almost as if whatever you're manifesting, wishing, praying, hoping for, it's just floating. It feels like it's just floating out into the cosmos 
effortlessly. It's because many of you, you are very connected with Mother Earth. Like I said at the beginning, either you show a lot of compassion to your environment, the earth in which we live in, and it feels as if Mother Earth herself, together with Divine, are almost collaborating in the background to reward you for the love and nurturing that you have for every living being, okay, for planet Earth. That compassion, I feel, is being rewarded to you through your manifestation, through your wishes, and it almost coming true absolutely instantly with regards to this love connection. And it feels like it's a very pertinent time as we move from 2022 into 2023. You are receiving messages from nature easily. So many of you, like I said, you've got the answers within you. Look out for flocks of birds. OK, that may be another sign um, that the truth is within you. The truth is that this is a fated connection, a twin flame connection. And um, yes, I would say that they do want to take a leap of faith with you because they don't want to let you go. I feel that they woke up. They had a bit of a rude awakening when they did break up with you, if I'm being really honest. And now they want to balance it out. OK, many of you may have felt that your future with this person is doomed. It's over. Will there be another chance? That's the question. That's the conversation. That is, you don't know. Yeah, confusion. Um, come out of that energy. Focus your energy on positivity, love, happiness, because this person is coming in to reconcile. All right, I'm going to leave that there for you. If it resonates, please feel free to click that thumbs up button on the video. Subscribe if you haven't done so already. Until next time, I'm sending you loads and loads and loads of love, peace and light. You take care. Bye bye.